Do I want to plant seeds in revolutionaries? Do I want to breed revolutionaries who murder all talk, only read revolutionaries? Those Harvard revolutionaries who pass themselves as mass vocabulary but can't read the dictionary of making things happen. I give these false prophets a picture of revolution. They only read the caption. All talk, no action. Thank you, brother. Revolution. Uh, I was going to say here. You believe that you guys have the power not only to critique violence, but to come up with some solutions to it, right? So, you know, we try to create environments like this, safe havens, safe spaces, where you ain't got to worry about the mess. Success of You Media is uh, an engaged populace of young people uh, who are creating, not just consuming media, they're producing. Uh, and I believe that you're starting to see a microcosm of how society should be, that racial, economic lines are broken down in a space like You Media where, you know, people are coming together to express creativity, to have a safe space to, you know, share their skills with one another. And you see success when students are you know, taking it on their own and saying, how can I use this for college? How can I, uh, you know, use this for my career or en really engage in my passions? Your brother got hit by a stone out of okay. all of your friends. Using a star and able to get your revenge. It's hard to comprehend. The fight in the giant this way, the cycle will never end. Chiefing every day, getting begged like an oven in the streets, getting beat like percussion because talking about boxes is just fighting, no discussion. Someone's right. <laughs> Right, yeah, that's the, yeah, I would even carry that out, just snaps and then yeah, like, snaps at the end, and then just having that vocal, just okay. by, by itself. So like, without without the uh, bass too, without anything, yeah, just the snaps was... and just let that that vocal okay. just carry it for a minute. Yeah. Pull the people in for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, yeah. thanks y'all a lot. Get the machine, you feel my dreams. Revolution right now, any means. Brother Mike, you ain't seen. I got my team. And you know I do this. Boy, you know we do things. I'm just dropping two cents. Who's I do me two chains? Come right around my side of town. I'm about to my girl. You know, just somebody I think that really loves students. I think having the technical skill is one thing, but being able to, you know, care for students like they were your own in a sense uh, is something I think we all share here at UMedia that this is a community that we want to see grow. And we believe fundamentally that. You know, good mentors, good people are the drivers of that, that are going to, you know, support students in all the things that they do here. Media, we see you every single day. There's poetry. Turn the TV off and go read a book. Try Malcolm and Che. It's poetry Chicago, revolution every day. And it's war. Everywhere is war. Everywhere is war. Group by the door. Everywhere is war. 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 spread love, you spread peace, you can stop all wars. Free your mind. Be shot. Born This Way Foundation folks talked about uh, what should be happening outside of uh, outside the arena where Gaga is going to be speaking, where our bus is going to be stationed. I think it's, it's interesting that pop culture can be this place where learning can occur and uh, we just have to be willing as community members, parents, teachers, mentors, uh, to help guide that learning. And this movement is towards you know, engage in the community and uh, not monologue, but dialogue. Uh, the fact that we can share with each other through art, uh, through music, through activism, uh, through education, uh, a new form of understanding. I love it. It's, it's good. The outside of the bus looks completely beautiful and I just love all the work that you guys have been doing. Just, this just means so much to me, and the focus is on breeding more amazing, wonderful uh, guys like you who want to be involved in 
at transforming culture and inspiring people all over the world to be more loving and accepting. She was talking to us, she loved our ideas, and uh, Brother Mike is like freaking out. Brother Mike. Man, it was just, that was just like straight powerful. We're all born brave and we want the world to be born brave, that you can, you know, show your creativity, be yourself, and be loved. I want to thank you from myself and my daughter for putting this together and taking the time to help us and the foundation. Thank you. Brother Mike! I am able to see beyond this fallacy, the stars, the black hole, and the galaxy. You are actually mentally, mathematically sweeter than the reality that may play tricks if one can't dream fade and mix your name in the same plane that Moses saw in the bush high on cocaine that Jesus speaks every time we call his father in vain in the same voice that inspired Nas to write Elmatic on the train and I listened So we're here live at uh, Brave New Voices, uh, one of the largest spoken word uh, events for young people in the world. Uh, we've got our bloggers uh, out there doing, you know, social media. Uh, we've got, you know, our photographers out there, and then we've got our video crews out there uh, gathering footage of all 500 poets. There are 600 million girls in the world. In one year, 150 million of them will be victims of sexual violence. Use the tripod. Get still. There's some of it where it's turning on and then it's moving around and then it finally gets there. Get there. Turn it on. Roll. What we want kids to really get out of this is an in-depth real-world experience, right? But also being able to work collaboratively across networks to produce a product and really multiple products and artifacts. So putting young people in the driver's seat to really, uh, in this case, be HBO. Oh man, it, it was an exciting week of uh, creativity, connected learning, uh, youth bringing their creative ideas to life. Uh, you know, and that's all we could ask for, to see like, to have a space where, you know, kids are equipped with the, the tools, the technology that, that they need. Uh, partners who are engaged and uh, connected in a real way to come together to make uh, critical change in you know, their lives as designers, but also uh, you know, to make a better community. I don't know, I, I, Brother Mike sent me some of the images of the work that y'all have already done. You gonna have a trunk show? <laughs> Yeah. In particular at DYL, we want to make learning a lifestyle uh, where it doesn't stop in school, it extends throughout the school day, uh, into the summer, you know, whenever. We're setting a culture here. We're starting a, a real trend in uh, how we can reimagine what education looks like, what schools could look like uh, in this space really helped us realize a lot of things and, I, and hopefully uh, that same realization was there for the young people. I see a renaissance of young people creating. Uh, I see a renaissance of organizations who are now not thinking in silos but they're connected and with a purpose. Like when we talk about making, it's just not making just cause, it's making for a purpose and that purpose is for young people to see that, yes, they can. They can do this. I just want to thank y'all, one, for just having me out here representing for this beautiful day and this beautiful individual um, okay. who means so much to me, especially in terms of many of the things Brother talked about from black pride to self-empowerment to having control over what we say and what we put out in our community. And as a member of the hip hop community, I feel like it's more than necessary because we don't have too many leaders out there. I mean, y'all know, we don't have too many leaders out there standing up, speaking up, and being heard. The rappers are being heard more than our activists are. It's more cast to know about Jeezy than Momia. So, I mean, 
we have, or I feel like I have a responsibility as a hip hop artist to bring these things to light and share with our people and, you know, expand the mind instead of dropping it like it's hot. So. <laughs>